everyone. Happy January. I hope you all had a lovely holiday. Many, many blessings. Okay, what I just really, really short, I know this is aggravating at the beginning of a video, but I just wanted to reiterate. I had mentioned at uh, the beginning of December that I would do for January a short year overview. Um, since then, I have a lot of clients and I have a lot of emails and a lot of um, YouTube subscribers that are concerned about how to get out of the gate. They're really tripped up on, on that. And I know that the hardest thing when you're trying to start something new is not seeing the pitfall that's right in front of you. It kind of sets you up for defeat, right? So I kind of want to drop anchor in the current. So I'm going to do a January uh, throw. What I did before I decided to, to tell you this was I went out and looked on YouTube to see if any of the readers that I would recommend are doing the year overview, and they are. So you have the resource out there. So as you all know, I drop anchor in the present. I think that's where the magic is, and that's where our jumping off point is. So that's where I'm going to focus, okay? So um, I'm going to be a little bit more in-depth about that. I just wanted to let you know that in case you thought, you know, you were hearing things or I'm not, you know, being truthful. I am. It's just I decided this is for the masses. I think this is really where it's going to help us, too, okay? I think we're getting over... Uh, we're just putting a little bit more fear into this. When we start a new cycle, it's just that. Your life's not going to, you know, it's not going to change on a whole. We're just going in a new direction. So I'm going to take a look at that and see as many different directions as I can to get out ahead of that. Okay? So I hope that uh, that helps you in some way, and enjoy January's video. Thank you. Hi, Aries. Happy January. I hope you're doing well. Okay, ready for our new chapter, right? Okay, okay, guys, as I'm shuffling here, as you can hear me, um, I'm getting very, very strong message that um, this might be a month to uh, nurture yourself, pamper yourself, have a little bit of fun. Um, I'm an Aries Pisces cusp myself, and I know that this year has been a lot of um, work, 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 you know, and I can actually say in my life there's been, um, you know, I've been very, very driven, very hard on myself. Very, we get very in touch with the, you know, go, 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 we've got to do this, we've got to do that, that we forget, you know, to take care of ourselves, to nurture ourselves. So I'm getting a strong message that, you know, January – we need to lighten the load a little bit and forget about the, you know, right and wrong and just uh, have some fun. Just lighten up and just have some fun, not be so rigid. Um, so there you have it. Let's see what the cards have to say. Okay. What does Aries need to know for January 2017? Okay, guys, here we go. Okay, there we go. All right, the overall energy, oh, very nice, is the Queen of Wands. Okay, very nice. We will take it. She is our hostess with the mostess, right? Um, again, enjoy yourself. We're divinely connected, okay? We know who we are. We just need to get in touch with that uh, part of ourselves again, okay? Have a little bit of fun. All right, let's see here. All right, in the past, which is still washing over us right now, okay, is the Four of Wands. Okay, that's about strong structures, working hard. It's about um, things are better after you've just gone through something. Okay, the structure is stronger, what this card comes out of. It's also the marriage card. Okay, it's also a card that shows up too after a pregnancy that's been really, really tough. Okay, or something to that equivalent. Okay, um, 
something really came to fruition, but it, it really did, gave you a run for your money, but your foundation is stronger. In a relationship, too, it's, you know, maybe one that, that hit some hard rocks along the way, but now you're stronger because you've come through it, okay? It's a four, too, okay? It's, it's a... It's a contemplation time. It's the it's a it's a drop spot for a moment, okay? All right. I think that that's a great way to start. Okay? Between that and the Queen of Wands, that's great, okay? Because she's actually she can get it done. Okay? She's very very like I say divinely connected, but she can also get things done. She knows how to do things and uh, she has no doubt that she can get them done. And she is a fire sign. She is Aries. Okay? Alright. In the current we've got the Ace of Wands. Okay? Again, that is a literal birth of something. Okay? It's, a, it's also a phallic card. It could be a new relationship that's very um, sensual. Okay? Very passionate. Very sexual. Um, it's also the, the, the thumbs up from the universe. Anything that fills and inflames you right now, you've got the green light to go for it, okay? Um, it is also, like I said, a fertility card. Sorry about that. Um, the new moons get them all crazed up. Okay. In the upcoming, we've got the two of wands. Oh, this is great. So we've got the queen of wands. <laughs> We're full of fire here. We've got the two of wands. The Ace of Wands and the Four of Wands. This is lovely, okay? Um, this is having the world in your hand, okay? It's travel. It's wanting to do something. It's, it's literally bold moves, okay? It's being stepping outside of the box that you've created for yourself, okay? This, like I always put to, um, it's the going into business for, the family because you coulda, woulda, shoulda known you had to, so you did, okay? Instead of, you know, doing something that you wanted to do, which is the complete opposite. Usually when this card comes up and it's in that kind of arena, it's someone stuck in a 9-to-5 job that's really like a, a, a very creative painter or an artist in some way, okay? But this is also a card of wanting to travel, wanting to start something new. It's the thinking about what project it is that you want to do and then launching it, okay? So the Ace of Wands here, I'm going to go out on a limb and say that it, it really just, it's the start of something new. It's a new project, okay? It's, it's, it's a new job. It's something that um, you've wanted to do for a very, very long time, okay? And the Hand of the Divine is coming down into your life and is telling you now is the time to do it, okay? This is Aries. Aries rules the first house, okay? This is all about, you know, self-appreciation, first impressions, beginnings, okay? Your attitude towards something. Aries gets tiled up when they have to trust in themselves, right? So that's when it's believing in yourself and trusting that the universe will support you, and clearly it will here, okay? The Hand of the Divine is, is already through this entire reading. We're not even halfway through. Okay. And it's coming in quick, okay? Watch the speed that you're entering this with, okay? The, the Knight of Swords is the quickest knight in the deck, okay? Aries does tend to be, they're the doers, they're the leaders, they go where, you know, where angels dare to go, okay? Be vigilant about how you're going into this. The Knight of Swords is also very uh, wise, okay? They, they like to have a plan in place, all right? But, but Aries tends to go in, you know, excuse me, but balls to the walls and get exhausted, Okay, so you don't want to burn yourself out. So that's what you're doing. It looks like you're going in, you know, very, very fast and very, very bold and passionate. And sometimes we need that energy, but I'm just going to say here the focal is, um, you know, it could be something comes out of the blue very quick too. You know, you're thinking about something and you may get the answer very, very quick. Okay, but I'm going to say 
err on the side of uh, just pacing yourself, balance, okay? Um, remember, the message coming in here was to not be so caught up in, you know, the material of the real world and to just bring it back to just some nurturing, some fun, some lightheartedness, okay? So the last thing you want to do is come in like this when that's the message that we're getting. And you can even see, you know, the queen is looking at him like, oh, for the love of God, just slow down here, dude, you know? So let's see here. Okay, your blind spot, which you don't see coming. Oh, celebration. Okay, this may be an actual marriage, okay? You may be... Uh, getting married here, okay? It's a new start, all right? And, and it may involve travel. It's, it's a new way, too, you know? Instead of one, you've got two now. So this is celebration. These are the three graces, and that's in your blind spot. You may not know this is coming up. You know, this comes into after something hard you've gone through, okay? This is, you've gotten over the hurdle, you, you've, you've won the battle, but you really haven't, you know, the war is still on here. So, um, so you don't see this coming yet. You may still be in this, wondering how this is going to start. Keep in mind, I'm doing these on the new moon, okay, so it's, two days before January. So this may be coming all up for you. It may not even be, you know, you may still be back here trying to get your footing back after whatever this was, okay? So you, again, this is in your blind spot, so you will be celebrating. This is also enjoying yourself, okay? It's, it's friends, it's family, it's, um, you know, the people that you surround yourself with. Okay, that's where you're dropping anchor right now. You're happy with the people in your surroundings. Okay, your blessing card. Balance. Okay, <laughs> balance. Um, yes. Balance between... Okay, our message, remember, guys, was... Excuse me. Um, to nurture ourselves, to have a little bit more fun, to not be so caught up in the tangible of the day-to-day, -day. okay, balance. This is not just monetary. It's energy. It's time. It's, uh, you know, the, the things that you do for yourself. Balancing your life as a whole is what this card is about, okay? So take all of this out. It's just, it's about balance. You know, where do you need to put a little bit more maybe over here, you know, Okay, so again, our focal is we need to slow down. I know it's uh, a new nine-year cycle. It's, it's, it's new, new, new. I get that. And the reason that I'm doing the reading like this and not the year overview is because we need to stay in the now. We need to be present, okay? And this reading could not speak more about that, okay? It's about strong foundations, starting things. The universe is supporting you here, so there is no rush, okay? And we're coming in with the energy of the Queen of Wands. Remember, she's my Joan Rivers card. There's no way you're going to not get something done. So just pace yourself, okay? Here we go. Our outcome card, there we go, is the King of Coins, okay? Money is coming. There's news about money coming. Your finances are secure. Um, things are balanced in your life. You're enjoying yourself. You're emotionally balanced, too. Okay? Threes are about, you know, the start of something. You've gotten this off the ground. Okay? And sometimes we just need this energy to do it. But, but that's, that's good to have the energy behind you. You want that you know, as a person or an ally or your energy, but you don't want to burn yourself out, okay? You want to really pace yourself, okay? I think this is about new beginnings as far as, you know, you may be getting married, you may be, it doesn't even need to be an actual marriage per se. Your relationship may be going to a new phase after a really, really 
hard time. You know, after after things like that, um, things do go to, you know, they go one of two ways. But this one doesn't look like it's going in a bad direction. It looks like it kind of solidified something, okay? And again, this might be um, a birth of something. It might be a new project. Whatever it is, it didn't start out easy, okay? Um, but this is your future position. You're doing it. You're you're realizing that you now need to do this, okay? And you do. Your blind spot is the celebration. So you get it off the ground. So if in the beginning of January, don't get uh, don't get down on yourself if, if you're trying to do something and it just seems to be taking a little bit longer than you wanted to or that you had anticipated, okay? Your focal right here is to really just slow down, to pace yourself, balance yourself, okay? The outcome is the king of coins. Your you will be financially successful in this, okay? This is also a card of, of money coming in, okay? So this may be, you know, something that's acquiring money along the way, and it's coming, okay? And if this is the focal, it's coming in quick, okay? Again, sorry about her. She just has a mind of her own. Okay, guys, I think this was wonderful, okay? Give me a second to just look this over. We do not have any major cards in here. We have swords, we have wands, we have coins, we have cups. Okay, our elements are balanced. Again, the key word is balance. Getting back to really knowing who you are, okay? Um, that may not sound like a a big thing to do but but it really is because this past year has been kind of crazy you know um, just give me a minute let me see here there is I'm just gonna reiterate to pace yourself okay there's a lot of fire in here I think you come into January again like a bolt of lightning like this okay but I think midway through the month and again I'm gonna do mid months. I think things balance out. Okay, so don't again, don't don't get discouraged at the beginning of the month. Um, although I really don't think you're gonna have a hard time. Whatever it is here, we've got, you know, the queen, the ace, the two and the four. Okay. And we've got the three of coins. What we're missing is the three of wands, and that's our casting of the nets, okay? So, again, don't get discouraged if whatever it is takes a bit to get off the ground, okay? I don't see anything negative here at all, okay? All right, guys. Thank you so much. I hope that this helped you in some way. If you need a private reading, just reach out to me. I'll be more than happy to do that for you, okay? Again, but just pace yourself and don't get discouraged, okay? Thank you so much.